this. Hey everybody, my name is Adam Bennett and I am a member of the communications and community engagement team. Welcome and thank you for tuning in to another Lunch Bites. Today we will look at our Schoology platform and take a deeper dive into how parents can support their children better. So here is our Director of Digital Learning, Nancy Garvey. Welcome to Schoology. Uh, my name is Nancy Garvey and I am the Director of Digital Learning and I thought I would take a few minutes to share with you a little bit about Schoology to help you navigate around and be able to support your children. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of Schoology and give you kind of some examples of things. And then at the very end, I'm gonna help you find some access to things that will help you log in and make sure that you have access yourself to Schoology. So when you log in, you'll end up on a landing page. It looks a little bit like this. You'll know you're in the right place if in the top right-hand corner, you see your name. You'll have your name, um, some icons to the left of it, and a drop-down arrow right underneath. This is how you know that you're ready to get started to support your learners. So to the very left of your name, you'll see a little bell, which is your notifications. This will notify you for any changes or things that are going on in Schoology. Uh, you can click on it and it will open up and show you the notifications. These notifications are specific to you and not your learner. I'm going to show you where your learner stuff is in a bit. Next door to that is an envelope, which means messages. So if you have a messages in Schoology, maybe having a conversation, that's where that will land. Calendar here, this calendar is for you to use um, for your own courses. So what's great about Schoology is when you're a parent in our school district, you also have access to using the learning management system. In the future, our school district is going to be working on putting together online courses for parents that will allow you to learn different subjects and different things here. You'll notice that I have 129 calendars. You wouldn't have that. Right now, you'd have access to your school and the district and then any courses that you are enrolled in as a parent. Next door to that is an icon for applications that you probably won't spend a lot of time in. And of course, the magnifying glass for searches. So now you're thinking, okay, how do I get to my learner's information? To get to your learner's information, you're gonna go over to your name in the right-hand corner and click the drop-down arrow. You will then see your name and then underneath it, any children that you have in the district. If you have one, they'll be there. If you have two, three, four, they'll all be listed under your name. This is how you access their Schoology. So for example, um, my son is um, underneath my name so that I can access anything for him. So if I click on his name, it will take me to Schoology and this is his view. You'll see at the top, you are viewing as, and it'll have your student's name, and then you'll see at the very top, the, the strand looks a little different. We only have access to courses, groups, and grades, um, but I wanna caution you on grades because these grades are only grades that have been taken in Schoology. It's not all of the grades for that specific course or that specific class or all of the grades for your student. It would only be the ones that are taken in Schoology, sometimes an assessment, sometimes an assignment, but by no means would this be the end all be all for grades. You would wanna go to Home Access Center, um, just like you have in the past. These grades will only be grades of the assignments and things that were taken in Schoology. All right, so you'll see on the left-hand side under student activity, you will, um, if you click on student activity, you will see a kind of like a Facebook-y type activity feed of all of the things that are happening inside of the courses that you're in. So this would just be like um, an assignment has been set or someone has commented on something um, and you'll be able to kind of take a look at those kind of things. Next door to student activity is enrollments. That will get you to all of your students' courses. So here's music, art, PE, science. Obviously my student is an elementary student and all of the things that he would have that he is a student in the class. Um, over on the right-hand side, this is where you have quick access to graded assignments, graded tests and quizzes, or graded discussions. Uh, we don't do attendance within Schoology. That is found in Home Access Center, so again, that information will be found in Home Access Center for you. Don't click on attendance and assume to see anything about your student in Schoology because we use eSchool Plus and Home Access Center. And I just wanna remind you again, any grades that you see in Schoology are just grades that have been taken 
in Schoology. Like an assignment has been put in Schoology, the grade is there. It is not an overarching grade of the work that your learner is doing. You would use Home Access Center for that. Okay, underneath that, you'll see anything that is overdue that the student should have to turn in. So um, you'll see that my son has a bunch of stuff um, overdue, but that's because I use his um, account in a couple of the courses that I'm testing. So that's not really, don't, yeah, that's not really for him. But if you wanted to look at it and you had a student had something overdue, you could click on that link and it would take you to that specific assignment or that specific quiz, and you would be able to take a look at the information that is found there. If you wanted to click in a specific course, you would just go over to the enrollments area, find the course name that you want to click on, click on Science 2A or whatever you're clicking on, and then you would have access to any of the materials that are found. If you wanted to look at that specific grade, those specific grades or mastery, you have access in a view only area. You can't change assignments, you can't add discussions, you can't do anything, and you can only see information that is pertaining to your student. So again, this is a view only, but at least it gives you access to look at the information that's being given or the assignments that have been given or to kind of keep a closer look. When you're also in your student's area, you'll see their name now is in the top right hand corner. And you'll also see the top blue bar that tells you who you're viewing as. You can look at their calendar. So if you click on the calendar icon next to their name, you can take a look at their calendar from a very open view of all courses or dive into a specific course. So here I am in the calendar, and this is going to show me all of the things. So right now, Brayden doesn't have much on his calendar um, because his teacher isn't really using the calendar feature right now um, because of his age level. But if you look at, you'll see anything in green as a, as a group event, anything in courses will be orange, and you would be able to see all things on the calendar and be able to kind of look at what's upcoming, what's already been due, where are the quizzes, and all those kind of things kind of in this calendar area. If you are ready to move into another student's access point, like if you have another student, you would go up to your other student's name, click on that drop down menu, and then go ahead and choose the next student. And once you do that, then you are viewing as that learner and you can go into their courses and do all of the things like that. Once you've had a chance to look at your calendar or any courses, another thing that might interest you is turning on parent notifications for your learners. If you click the drop down arrow in one of your learner's accounts and scroll down to settings um, and click on settings, it's gonna take you to an option page. It'll show you your name and your account information, but more importantly, this notifications tab here in the top left-hand corner. If you click on notifications, this is where you can turn on or off the parent email digest. This will give you a weekly or daily email report of your student's activity in Schoology. So right now I have it turned off, but if I click the drop down arrow, I can turn the email summary on and then I can tell it when and how often I would like it. This helps me like if I'm always checking in on my kiddo on Sunday evenings, or maybe I want an email sent to me on Friday so that I can follow up on the weekends, or maybe I'm in a situation where I really do want to check on my kiddo once a day. You can choose daily or weekly, choose the time the email comes in, and then the day of the week that you would like that to happen. If you're not ready for an email summary, but you're more looking at, I just wanna know if they have overdue submissions, you can also do the same type of thing. You turn that on and then save the changes. And when that happens, anything overdue, you get an email as a parent. Now, the one thing I do wanna tell you is you have to turn on these notifications per student in your family. So you can't just turn it on for Braden and expect to get it for any other students. You would have to turn it on for each student. So what you would do is just click on the name of the next student, and then you would go in and you would choose settings, and then you would do the same thing. And that is how you turn on notifications for your specific learner. So I'm gonna go back. And now what I want to do, since I've given you kind of a tour of Schoology, I want to show you how you get in and the differences between your account and your learner's account, because it is a little different. So if you look at the top of my screen, you'll see that I'm in schoology.coppillisd.com. This is the login or the URL that your student would use to log into Schoology at any point. 
at school, at home, really anywhere. The reason we do that is because our district has set up like a single sign-on that allows the learner to just to use their username and password to log in. Unfortunately, we don't have that set up for parents. Um, and so we have to go in a little bit differently. So what you would do as a parent is go to www.schoology.com. So don't put in the Coppell part. You really just want to be in Schoology.com. So once you're at Schoology.com, you are going to log in. You do not have to sign up and choose parent because we've already created your accounts for you. OK, so once you get in and you're a parent, you're a parent in our school district. But the login um, entrance zone, I guess, or open door is through Schoology.com. So don't sign up. Click on log in. And once you click on log in, they're going to bring you up to a Schoology login page. And you'll see right now is my email address. Instead of having mine there, you'll use your email from Home Access Center. So you'll put your email address that you use to log into Home Access Center, to register your learner. And if you've never been into Schoology before, you're not gonna have a password. So you're gonna have to click on forgot your password and it will send an email to the email address that you have up in the email area. That will send you an email and give you step-by-step -step directions on how to change your password and access Schoology. Once you get past this page, it will take you back to your home, which will look a little bit like this, and then you can begin using Schoology. I'm also going to take you really quickly to a um, site on the Coppell ISD site that will allow you to follow some FAQs or learn a little more about Schoology. So if you go to www.coppellisd.com, put your email address. And the quickest way to access once you get to the Coppell ISD website is really through the search feature. If you click here on the little icon that looks like a magnifying glass and type in Schoology FAQ and then hit enter or return, you will then see some options for Schoology that's on the Coppell ISD website. The Schoology FAQ may be the first or second option on the page and you'll just click and it will take you to the exact right page. This is the Frequently Asked Questions document. It will help you if you have trouble logging in. It will help you if you can't see all of your kids in your account, because if you can't, you um, it means that in eSchool Plus, you're not linked together with all of your kiddos, and we can fix that by submitting a help desk ticket. And then it's got all the answers to all the questions that you might have. Again, it mentions about grades only being in Home Access Center and not utilizing Schoology to understand your child's grades. Um, and then the last place I wanted to show you is a um, parent guide from Schoology because they have really great information on all the things that you might need to know past this video. So if you go to www.tinyurl.com slash Schoology parent guide, that email or that URL is now on the screen in this video. And if you go there, it's going to take you to the support section parent guide of Schoology. And this will be really helpful for you because if you look on the left, there's lots of questions, things that you may want to go back and dive into. And that is available here. Please let us know if you have any other questions about using Schoology and accessing your learners accounts so that you can better support your learners. Thank you, Nancy. Now we have people standing by to answer any of your questions.